over and welcome back to my channel. It is Sweet Sailor Sketch. It's the first time I've pronounced the R in my name since God knows when. Today I'm doing a super special video. I have been sent two Arctica Note sketchbooks to review. In all honesty, I have used an Arctica Note sketchbook before and there is a sketchbook tour if you want to see what is inside this puppy. I have no recollection of actually using it. I remember liking it. I just don't remember what it was like to use it. So this is kind of like another first first view at it. Oh, I'm so excited. So let's get right on with the video. Before we get into the art of this video, obviously I want to say that all thoughts and opinions are my own. I was just sent these by Ardex to review because they love me and they love you. Let's just get with opening this. Grand start. Someone told me once again that seeing my last video reinforced their not trust with me with scissors, which I thought maybe I would try to go scissorless today. But it doesn't seem to be working. Let's just stab it. Gently. My first impressions on the packaging with this is that I love how the strap is purple. I do actually really like the how the name is indented. Is that the right word? I don't know. Love this slip of paper. It has all the information that you need, including their social medias. And when we open it up, we get a thank you card with a warranty <laughs> and a sticker. And a free drawing class card. Probably shouldn't show the promo code just because you have to get it to get the freaking class. Also, like, low-key, high-key, I love this design. Like, I think I'm gonna cut it out and put it in my sketchbook. Oh my god, look at this. Purple's not my favorite color. I don't really know what else to say besides, like, I, I, I still really like this design. Purple's not typically my favorite color in the world. And a different sticker this time. Struggling. So yeah, this is about everything that's included in the box. There was no box. I'm loving how the paper isn't yellow. I don't know if you all know how I feel about yellow paper, but it makes me want to punch somebody in the face. Oh well. If you look really closely, there are perforated edges, which is actually really amazing. I have heard other artists in the community say that these Arctica Note sketchbooks are comparable to ELO sketchbooks, which are typically considered the number one sketchbook when it comes to hardbound. And I put lotion on my hands before doing this, so like my handprint is just like leaving on the sketchbook. I have been feeling a need to paint and I have been seeing so many tigers on my Pinterest page that I think today we're gonna go out of my comfort zone and we're gonna see if this sketchbook can handle it. Let's get right on to drawing. Aesthetic. Oh my god, guys, you'd never guessed it. Why am I talking like a f***ing... Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I don't really do animal things that much. I've been trying to work on it lately. Like, I've been using things like a line of action and just Pinterest in general to find references and try to practice what the shapes look like. I'm not doing, like, full anatomy studies where I'm, like, looking at the skeletal... skeletal... Skeletal. skeletal structure or like the muscular anatomy of things. I'm just looking at the shapes that I see in a uh, overall sense. And the reason why I wanted to draw a tiger was because they have a big round circular like fluff of just that's that's their head and then their nose is like a rectangle. It seemed like something that would be really fun to draw. Thus, I drawered it. That's what my thought process is for 90% of the things that I do. I absolutely love these sketches that I did and I didn't end up finishing the last two because I did not have time. And we all just take a collective moment to look at how adorable this tiger is. Look at him. Look how he is smiling. Look at his little nose. Look at how his eyes are all scrunched up and how happy he is. We all wish to be that happy, but we can't be because we are not that tiger. It is impossible. The one on the top right corner isn't actually a tiger. It's a lion. I, I don't care, okay? I just wanted to draw it. I think this was a success in terms of trying to draw something outside of my comfort zone. And and I didn't end up painting the tigers, but I do end up painting a different thing right after this. My just general impressions on how alcohol markers work when you're not doing line art with this book. It's it's nice. I do
do not really appreciate how smooth the paper is. It was really hard for me to do the sketch because it, it, it was just so slippery. Like, I don't like having too much texture because then it's hard to work with. But if you don't have enough texture, then your pencil slides all over the page. This isn't like too much of a problem for markers. When I was sketching, it was just really uncomfortable. That's probably only when you're using colored pencils. I don't know if I'm gonna add another drawing after I finish the paintings that you're gonna see in a little bit. But if I do, I will use a pencil sketch and I'll tell you how I feel about it later. Coloring this um, white tiger was really fun. I didn't have like the exact right colors for it. I did not have um, like a pastel orange that was pastel enough to fit the color scheme. And I really like the way that it turned out. I do not like it as much as I like the one that I did on the bottom where I just feel like I work better when there's a lot of contrast in a drawing or a reference that I'm using. I'm very big about having lots of shading and lots of highlights. I know there's other artists like Hershey that don't do a bunch of contrast and even have said that having a bunch of contrast in their pieces makes them like uncomfortable, not like uncomfortable, but like it just, they don't like it as much, which is totally awesome. And totally cool because like I love oh my god the voice crack I love Hershey's art and they are very much into pastels and a master at alcohol markers and even more a master at digital art like oh my god I had such a fun time with the stripes on the tigers for this I I was <laughs> um, the stripes were actually the part that I was worried about the most because, you know, stripes on tigers, they have to be like symmetrical completely. And I am so bad at symmetry, it's actually ridiculous, which is why 90% of the people that I draw are at a three-fourths view or like side side profile view or else I can't draw it. Like it, it'll look so funky and disproportionate. It's, it's just like one eye will be eight million years below the other. <laughs> because that's how you measure that. But I was able to add a lot of alcohol marker on this paper and it didn't like bubble up. I don't know if this is like the best way to describe it, but sometimes when you add alcohol marker and you keep adding it and adding it and adding it and adding it and adding it, it'll get warpy and it won't let you add anything anymore. It only happens sometimes and that didn't happen this time. So I thought I would mention it. I did have to keep a bleeding sheet underneath my drawing so that I did not ruin the next page, which is totally fine. It's, that's what happens. Alcohol markers like, to absolutely just piss themselves and piss themselves over all the pages in your sketchbook. So I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> There was a little segment of my life where I was just like, oh my God, I'm gonna do so many landscapes and they're all just gonna look so good. And then I did like three and then like didn't go back. But now we're back um, and instead of following tutorial, something that I like to do, which is a little bit easier for me to learn, is just finding something that someone already painted and then repainting it. All of the images that I've used for references are going to be on my Pinterest, so go check out my Pinterest. Like I said, I like learning from images because words don't work in my brain, so we learn from images, we learn smarter, we learn faster, we use our own brain 2% of the time, so using my hands is the only way that I can learn anything. <laughs> which might be a problem. My favorite kind of paint at the moment is gouache. I have no idea what the heck is going on with watercolor. I've never tried oil painting and acrylics, they dry too fast. It's like, oh my god, give me two f seconds, jeez. I also really like the matte finish that they have. Sometimes people complain about how it reactivates, but honestly, I think it's one of the best qualities of gouache paint. I just don't like painting with gouache paint when it's too watered down because then the colors look a little mucky. And when I'm looking at my reference, I will break down all the colors and images and shapes in the piece to be like, what do I have to paint first? But yeah, I spent around 50 minutes on this first painting and the next painting that you're gonna see is not I did not spend uh, nearly as much time on it. It was honestly just something I didn't really want to do. I wasn't feeling too well that day and I spent 15 minutes on this. You can clearly tell which one I put more effort in, but if you guys have not seen the post I made on my community tab or on my... I'm a shelter. I'm a shelter. Oh my god, my shelter. Anyways, on Instagram, I am asking y'all to send me um, draw this in your style challenges that have been going around. Any that you think are cool, or if you are hosting one yourself, I would love to draw them. It's for a video. You, it will be featured on a YouTube video for something that's coming up really soon. I can't exactly say what it is because it is kind of a surprise for someone, so. Hello. So, my final thoughts on how paint reacts with this sketchbook is that it works really well. The It being really smooth could 
be a good thing and could be a bad thing for different people. I personally really like it, although I do also really like texture, so I don't know, it's kind of just like a what I'm feeling like, but some people not might not like how smooth it is. It doesn't seem to warp too much, but I'm thinking that's because I have masking tape on it, so if you're going to do a painting, I would highly recommend taping your paper. It keeps it from warping and just losing its sh 10 out of 10, 10 wrap your paper and tape, tape, tape your paper. Maybe I just like don't know what words are. Maybe. And like I said earlier, I was trying to decide if I was going to add another drawing and I decided on, why not? What I decided to draw was two OC submissions. Now I'm realizing I kind of made too much art for this video. So anyone who stick to the end, congratulations, you are amazing. The one on the left is a submission by Holly Sketches and his name is Reese. He is 18 years old and he loves everything and anything rock or punk. He plays electric guitar and is in a rock band. He is very chill, but is also a complete crackhead, which I can relate to. He's also very addicted to coffee. I hope you like him. I love him! And it's not just because he has red hair, I just think he's really cute. I just... <sighs> Maybe it is because of the red hair, but I just have an attachment to the color red, okay? Honestly, I'm not too happy with the way that this sketch turned out for both of these. I just... It's a little uncomfy to draw on super smooth paper. The other OC was sent by Jur, and all that they said was that their OC's name is Vincent, so... Vincent is on the right and Reese is on the left. Using pencil and using colored pencil on this paper feels like very different. And it's not that I use like extremely textured. It's not like I'm using watercolor paper all the time where they have a bunch of texture, but it's like, it's a little too smooth for me. And some people like it being smooth. I just don't prefer it, and I actually kind of do not like these illustrations, but we're just gonna act like it doesn't look like something I would have made last year. Uh, anyways. I actually lost a lot of the footage for this drawing as well, um, which is really sad because it was for Reese, which was the one I was super, super excited about drawing. I didn't get any of the coloring except for like the last few details. I don't know why. I think my phone is just sh itself. It's okay. We all have those days. And like I said before, marker is, you know, it just feels like using marker. The texture of the paper does not really affect how you're using your markers most of the time when you're using alcohol markers. I can see how it would affect probably like paint markers or even like water brush pens because, you know, I should just say, if there's a medium that you're going to use that is known for needing paper that's specifically for paint or needing to be on a canvas, tape your freaking sketchbook. It's going to warp if, if you don't, and then it'll look like you poured coffee on your sketchbook. I poured water on my sketchbook before, and the entire thing just completely like warped, like even the outside of it. Just remember to tape your sketchbooks if you're going to use a medium that not meant for regular paper, because this is mixed media paper but that doesn't mean it's gonna be able to hold like a full watercolor illustration. And I know that big eyeballs are a part of my style, but I think I went a little bit too far. Oh my God, I just, I think I could have made their eyes a little bit smaller. I just feel like it doesn't fit their facial proportioniness stuff and it just looks weird, but I'm still in love with Reese. His big eyeballs won't change that fact. Also, I love getting characters that have unique outfits, like like people that have OCs that are like Reese and they're like punk or alternative or rock. I really like drawing cyberpunk characters or steampunk characters or just, I like really cool outfits. Not as detailed as Genshin Impact outfits because you can't even see all the details with the plain bald blind eyeball. You're gonna need a microscope to look and see every single detail in the jewelry and the patterns. It's crazy. I had a lot of fun with Vincent's shirt. It's very, very hot pink and I don't think I ever really get to do things that are very hot pink slash magenta-ish all the time and I think it's really cool. I haven't been doing too many alcohol marker- I haven't been doing too many alcohol marker illustrations lately because I've been doing more painting and doing more digital so hopefully I can get back into it. I'm planning on doing a drawing your profile pictures video soon so if you want your profile picture to be drawn remember to comment on this video so that I can you know get your profile picture so yeah comment if you want to be drawn also if you want to send in your OCs for the next time I do an OC drawing video you can send them to my email mongardsmarts2020 at gmail.com if you have already sent me your OC don't send it again unless it's like a correction from the last email I've had a few people spamming me and it's just like why you why <laughs> but I had such a fun time using this sketchbook and I had such a fun time drawing 
drawing these OCs. Ugh, I love drawing red hair and Reese. I am, I'm now in love with Reese. This is my boy. I'm sorry, Holly. This is now my boy. I decided to use the outfit with the jacket and I made it a little cropped jacket because I just thought it would look cool with the tank top. There weren't any pants in that outfit drawing, so I just decided to go with jeans. And I couldn't find my liner that I usually use for my skin, so I decided to use a colored pencil, which it gives a really soft look and makes the skin, you know, look like skin. Oh my god! Compared to the fabric, it just gives a nice soft look, and then the fabric looks a little bit harsher, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I am enjoying it. There are a few other things that I haven't mentioned about the sketchbook, and I'm also going to give a a sort of pros and cons list in the outro, so make sure to stick for that if you are thinking about getting this sketchbook. And there will also be bloopers because, oh my god, so many things happened. I spilled tea on my desk, I dropped my marker like four times, and every single time I did, I was like, oh, marker. and I was on a phone call with my friend, and it was really embarrassing. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here, and I'm actually actively losing my voice, so I'm gonna go cry. All right, everyone, super sorry about the weird setup right here, but as you can see, my desk is a little bit space taken up. And I can't film my regular top-down view, so. Yeah, I really enjoyed using this sketchbook. I'm gonna mention like a little pros and cons list. A huge pro is that there are so many pages. There is 120 pages in this book. This book is gonna last you forever. Loving it. Another pro is that it has perforated edges, which means that you can take it out of your sketchbook if need be, which is something that you don't see in most hardbound books. Another pro is that this book feels so sturdy that I think I would have to throw it off of a building to break it. The designing is really cute. I don't really know if that's a pro. It's just something to mention. Another pro is that they have so many sizes with this sketchbook. Sadly, I do not have the little sketchbook that they gave to me with me right now because I was using it on the go and I think it's in my purse and I don't know where my purse is. I really do enjoy that small sketchbook. Okay, hold on. I have another small sketchbook so I can show you the things that I draw when I'm on the go. But it's not gonna be the exact same sketchbook. So I have this tiny sketchbook, right? This, I'll draw like little faces or I'll draw what I see, including my legs. That's the car. That's a waiting room I was in when I was getting my surgery. Yeah, I'll just draw things that I see around me. And it's one of the most fun things ever. I, if you get the smaller size, I would definitely recommend doing things like that. It works really well with gouache. I mean, this literally barely warped. I mean, it warped a little bit. Paint's gonna warp, paint is paint. But I just think it worked really well. And I drew my grandfather and my sister Hannah. And yeah, I really enjoyed drawing Reese and Vincent. These characters are so adorable and I'm loving them. And I can't wait for my next drawing your OCs video, but before that, I will probably do a profile pictures video. Onto the cons. This paper is a little bit too smooth. There's no texture at all. Typically wouldn't be a problem because I my main medium tends to be markers. But lately I've been trying to do more than just markers. This could affect my work, so I'm not really enjoying the smooth paper. Something that's kind of a con, but I don't really know if it's just because of the marker or the paper. Alcohol marker bleeds through very easily. It takes like one stroke for you to be able to have a ghost or bleed on the other side. Needless to say, the other side of this kind of looks horrendous. Um, but like, other than that, the sketchbook is pretty good. If you are looking for something as an alternative to ELO sketchbooks that sometimes go out of stock on Amazon and you can't find them because it's rude, I would say this is a great option. So thank you so much to everybody for watching. Thank you so much to Artica for sending me this. And I got to draw some tigers today and a lion. 
Okay, I just wanted to draw the line. If you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn your notification bell to all so that you'll be notified every single time I make a new art video. I do things like drawing your profile pictures, drawing your OCs. I'm really here to serve the people. Check out my other series if you're curious about things that I do that include you guys. And I also have a thing coming up that if I get to 2,000 subscribers, I will draw like physically with you on a drawing program called Magma or maybe Draw Pile, whichever one I think is the best option for me at the moment. And it's digitally. Love you all so much and I will see you guys next time. There is an immense amount of bloopers and I am sorry. But, which is kind of sad, but rar. I'm not very sorry. Kind of looks like they have a fluff. <gasps> Nar. Look at this goddamn tiger. Why do I just like want to throw this at the wall? No, I mean, yes, I mean, what? If that is not the most comic looking water splat that you've ever seen in your entire life, I don't know what is. I didn't break my bones. I've never broken a bone. You misinformed whore. I, I threw my marker. I, <laughs> I don't remember that. I don't remember anything. I'm a funky bitch. <coughs> <laughs> oh my god, I could I could Hunger Game. I don't even know what the Hunger Games are. <laughs> Gorel, tell me why I'm forgetting how to art. Now that's an example of things that we keep to ourselves. L O L I dropped my marker. No, you're not in the club, you're in the clarb. The way you literally just got all of that wrong.